Welcome to this edition of Teaching with Minecraft. This is David, and today we're going to be talking about area and perimeter. As you can see here, I just finished uh, fencing in my little mushroom here, who was out walking around. As you can see, we've got quite a few animals in this area, and I didn't want mushroom to get away from me too much because I like my mushroom soup in the morning. What you see here is we've got a simple little pen, and as I shoot up here, you're going to see that... There's two different ways we could describe where Mushroom is staying. We can describe Mushroom by the amount of area that he can walk around, or we could talk about the fence that he is um, he's being held by, and the fence is referred to as the perimeter. It's the area, it's the uh, lines around the area that he can stand on. So if you're in a room right now, like a classroom, or if you're at home in your room watching this on the internet, if you look at the walls around your room, the walls would be the perimeter. And the whatever you have on your floor, whether it's carpet or hardwood floor or linoleum, hopefully not dirt, but whatever is on the floor that you walk on to go to the door so that you can get out of your room, that would be the area. Or if you look up at the ceiling, the ceiling you would see the different uh, you could see the area of the ceiling now if you're gonna say well what about the area of the air well no that's not area that's volume and that's a whole other lesson so let's just stick with this so to figure the area what we'd want to do is count the number of squares one two three four five six six and then we'd count the number of squares upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that would give us a six by eight section of land and water. And so six times eight is 48. So there's 48 squares that Mushroom can travel in. Now we also have six and six, there's 12, and we have eight, and we have eight, and eight and eight is 16, and so 16 and 12 is 28. So the perimeter in this case, there's 28 pieces of fence, but there's only 24, no, excuse me, six by eight is 48. There's 48 as far as the area. So a lot of times, perimeter and area are different. And since I'm already floating up here in the air, let's take a look at a couple of other examples. I'm going to go up a little bit harder, and you've noticed that I put torches next to the areas to make finding the dimension a little bit easier. So let's look at the area of this. I have a three, one, two, three, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have a three by nine and that's 27. But if I also look at this, I've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I got a 3 by 9. So in this case, the area is 27. But if I was to look at it this way, I've got 9 and 9, that's 18. And then 3 and 3 is 6. So 18 and 6, mm. it has a perimeter of 24. So even though the area is 27, the perimeter is 24. And here's a clue. Um, all the perimeters in this case are going to be 24. Let's just see. Here I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, 8 and 8 is 16. And then 4 and 4 is 8. And 16 and 8. Oh, mercy. It'd be so nice if we could get some rain in Kansas here, but we'll, we'll just settle for the virtual rain right now. And so we have 18, 16 and 8, which is also 24. But notice how the shape of the area has changed. Here I've got 4 by 8. That's 32. So I'm going to come up here just a little bit larger. And so as you can see here, even though the perimeter stays the same, the area can change. And you can do the same thing the other way around too. You could change 
You can keep the areas the same, but change the perimeter. So always remember that the area is the section inside, whether it's inside the walls, inside a fence, or inside a building, or it could be a fenced in area, it could be inside a box. The area is always on the inside and the perimeter is what you have marking around it. So that is your difference between area and perimeter. Enjoy your day.